Hello guys, my name is Vineet Arora and you are watching Azure DevOps series. In my previous videos, you, uh, I have gone through these topics, right? I have also covered the branch policies and in this session, I am going to cover branch validation, right? So we will see that how we can apply the build validation, not branch validation, the build validation, okay? So let's move to that part. Uh, before moving, let me just request you if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and if you like this video, please like. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we have seen till now that how we can apply the branch policies. Now, I am going to show you about the build validation. Right. So, uh, till now we have not make it on. So, no build policy is found, but you can use the add button to create one. There is no build policies related to the build validation, right? So uh, let me click here. So I have the options when I am basically applying this build validation. So what exactly the validation, what exactly the options I have, it is asking me to build pipeline. So what does it mean? It means that whenever we are going to raise a PR, right? That particular PR or that particular code should be valid. Valid in the sense we should not have any error when we will actually build that or when we actually merge that. So to avoid that situation, right, the build should be proper merged, build should be, uh, the merge should be proper build. We should not have any error. It should not be conditioned like uh, there is a developer who has done some mistake in his code and he has directly merged it without validating, without actual, uh, without any error, right. So to uh, get that situation, to avoid that situation, what we will do, we will add a build policy. Right. So we will apply the build pipeline. So this is the uh, build pipeline that I have created just uh, in my previous session. I have already demonstrated you. So I need to choose the build pipeline with respect to this build validation. Right. And this is the path filter. I'm not going to talk about here. Build pa path filter. Basically, this is the path filter about this folder. Right. Folder structure I can apply if I'm looking to have. Okay. Uh, what I will do, I will simply now uh, save it. Right. The main thing is we need to have the build pipeline here. That, that is the must thing. Right. You can see also the asterisk is here. Uh, okay. Now let me save it. If you want to have any display name for this build dilation, for example, let me add this build validation. It's up to you if you want to give. Right. Let me save it. So uh, the name has been applied here and this required. Right. So uh what i will do now i will raise a pr i have already raised a pr right here we have the pr this was the pr so here we are getting the check of build validation that has not been queued till yet okay and i'm not able to complete it let me show you let me mark it as complete so it is asking me that build validation not run okay so let me queue it so what it will do it will run the pipeline that we have created which is associated with this particular PR. Let me go to the pipeline section. Okay. So here we will find that particular PR, uh, that particular pipeline is running, right? Let it run. And uh, if there will be any validation, if there will be any error, it will show that error and it will not allow us to merge. As of now, there is no proper, there is no issue with this particular bill we have already seen that everything we are in green so there will be no issue at all right and we will be able to merge this okay so uh, that particular pipeline has been executed and uh, that is in green so we don't have any error right we don't have any issues so that has been passed now let me go back to the PR right so under the repositories we have the pr section and here let me go here so now we are getting the option of complete right and all checks have been passed let me complete it right and uh, we have seen earlier that uh, basically we have this option as well delete feature to after merging so i'm not going to delete that branch so i will uncheck this and uh, i will mark as complete merge so yes, that particular PR has been completed. That means it has been merged. 
right now let me go back to the branches and here we have this main branch and under that we have this readme file and the changes are there okay now let's talk about the actual error that we may face this was the good flow good flow in the sense happy flow there was no error and we were able to approve it now let's see the session let's see the um, that scenario where we where we will have the issues right so what i will do i will intentionally do some changes right uh, do some changes in the sense I, uh, that invalid changes so let me go to the feature branch and here what i will do i will do the changes in the code itself right so here i have what i will do let me go to the controller and home controller let me do some syntax error let me remove this okay so basically i have removed this curly brace and this will give error and okay let me commit it commit done okay let me raise a pr create a pr this is going into the main branch updated home controller.cs coming as by default right now let me just create it we can also add the reviewers as well here from at the time of creation of it let me add one more user and let me create it okay now creation done but again the same issue it is asking me to work item must be linked and one is about the build validation okay let me uh we will add this work item as well let me show you about this build validation so if you will see here that has been queued automatically right queued automatically so uh, we will get error there right let me go to the pipeline section right here this is going on and we will get the syntax error till the time it is getting executed let me add the work item related to date so that we should have uh, it should pass all the validations basically all the checks right and let me just add anything related to that let me add just add this as of now i'm just adding work item right so that checks can be passed so uh, yes so only build validation is left now it's going on let's see how it goes okay so now this is in red this has been failed let me go here let me show you the error so it is showing the error that there is a error with respect to it right uh if you will go here uh, if you will go here into the our home controller right uh, sorry if you will go to our pr then we will find that we are not able to complete it because we have a error right two errors we have one is with reverse has been not been one reverse should be approved and the other is with respect to build validation field so this is we were talking about build validation has been failed and it should not be right so until the code is not correct we will not be in situation to get it merged right so this is all about the build validation okay so uh we have seen both the flows happy flow and uh, the bad flow or the flow in which basically we have the error right we were not able we have the invalid code so let's close this feed, uh, session and we will continue our next session let me show you that where we will go ahead okay so okay so we have covered till build validation and then we will cover the branching strategy in our next session okay uh, uh, let me sh tell you about the pr and approval process i have also covered this in this particular walkthrough okay so let's meet you in next uh, session Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.